What's going on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a product review. I got these products right here in front of me from Kuhn Beard Products, okay? So these guys are nice enough to send this stuff out to me. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you. So they sent me out quite a few bars of soap. I'm just gonna hold one up and show you guys the packaging. By the way, every one of these smell absolutely amazing. So I use these, I haven't used a bar soap in a long time. These bars of soap are actually black and they do not lather a whole lot. And they say that on the packaging. They have charcoal in it. So when you're scrubbing your body with these, your face, whatever it may be, it's actually a little gritty from that charcoal. And that there is amazing. So when you're done with this, you smell amazing. And that charcoal, something in this bar soap actually makes your skin feel a little bit tighter is the way my face felt. So on the beard oils and beard bombs, if you get the boxes, then you'll get this right here. Okay, you see how amazing that looks? These are handcrafted. Awesome beer boxes. And then here's a smaller one for the butter or the bomb. All right. And then when you open this up, that's what you see. So that's real nice to have sitting on your shelf. And the same thing with the oil. Fits in there perfectly. Just a nice addition to anybody's beer collection. All right. Now, as far as the smells on these, okay, I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. But this beard oil, I wanted to try to guess the scent profile in here, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what it is, and I'm gonna tell you what I thought it was. So this says bergamot, clove, soft musk, a hint of leather, patchouli, and maybe a little bit of orange peel at the end, okay? So I put this in my beard at about nine o'clock at night, and I sat there for a while trying to guess the smell of this, and it kind of flops around, and I love beard products that do that because it keeps you guessing and wondering exactly what it is. So the way that it flops around, I really could not guess it, all right? When I first smelt it, just put my nose to it, I thought I smelt like a red wine or something. And this is the Mountain Whiskey. So I thought I smelt like a red wine, okay? So I put it in my beard at nine o'clock at night, and then I caught myself at about two, three o'clock in the morning, still sitting there trying to smell and figure out what exactly this was. And all what I could get out of it personally was just a really nice, manly, cologne, smooth scent, like something that just puts you out from anybody else, makes you stand out of the crowd. Kind of like I remember when I was a kid, you know, I might not have had like the best smelling cologne as a kid. My parents might have bought me like some some bullshit. And then like my buddy I went and stayed the night with, like his parents bought him like some top notch stuff. And so not wanting to ask him what it was, I could just smell it go, man, his stuff smells good. And then that's exactly what this beard oil reminds me of. It's like somebody else is better smelling cologne, you know, like, just better it makes you stand out and if you was to wear this and walk straight by somebody they would definitely smell this so i put it in my beard at about nine o'clock at night and i still smelt it the next morning which is crazy because i would say that's probably somewhere between 10 to 12 hours this is a very light beard oil which i love i do not like greasy beard oils so this is light in your beard it's not oily at all and that is just amazing guys like I said, it's a smooth cologne scent in my opinion. I don't know what bergamot smells like, stuff like that, but all I can tell you is it smells amazing. It smells like cologne and it smells like something that you wanna smell, something that somebody else has that you wanna take. That's it right there. So when you wear this, somebody else is gonna be wondering what you're wearing. You, this could be passed off as somebody thinking that you're literally wearing a cologne because it's strong and it smells that good. Now the beard butter, all right? Look at that, man, look at that packaging, guys. Man, that's so nice the way that that's wood and the way that's burnt in there like that. Beer butter is the same thing. I used a little bit out of there. This is a smooth beer butter. It's not greasy at all. I just put some in my beer a little while ago. It's very smooth. It melts down real good. It's a little bit lighter than the oil, which is good because I wear my beer butter at night. If it's strong like that, it's, it makes it a little bit hard to go to sleep, especially when you're sitting there like me trying to guess the smell of it, you know? The beard balm I didn't actually use. It's uh, all the products here pretty much got the same ingredients in it. I can tell this is a good beard balm just by looking at it. I can tell it's smooth. I can tell it's probably a medium texture from all the beard balms I looked at. And um, let's just go over some of the ingredients here. So pretty much all these have the same ingredients. Beeswax, shea butter, mango butter, jojoba oil, argan oil, marula oil, metal foam seed oil. So that's pretty much all these got in it. And guys, I cannot tell you how grateful I am for sending this out to me. And I cannot tell you guys like enough about how good this smells. Like I said, this will make you stand out from the crowd. If you guys ever wore Luxurious Bastard 1912 and you know how much that stands out from everybody else's products, 
That is exactly what these products right here do. They stand out from the crowd, and that is exactly why I love them so much. Coon, you guys' products are killing it, man. I can't say it enough. You guys, if you want to stand out, you want something different, something that's not like everybody else's, go check these guys out. I'll link their website down below. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, you'll sit there for hours trying to guess what it is, but when you're guessing that, it's a good guess. It's not a bad, like, oh, what does that smell? It's a good guess. It's mysterious, guys. It's almost like an aphrodisiac, guys. That's what this is like to me. Oh, guys, I can't say it enough. I'm really glad that they sent me this out, and this will definitely be something that'll stay on my shelf as long as I have a beard. With that being said, guys, see you guys in the next one.